Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rauscher again. One more stage in doing the finch. So I want to show you. We had marked all this out. And I hope you got this all in. We had marked all the feathers on here and the mantle, which is in here. And we did the other side. So what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you how to treat the mantle. And this is going to be the same as we did up here on the head. We're going to do the same uh, techniques for getting the mantle in. We also have these pockets, what I call coverts, wing coverts, uh, that are going to be done the same. So let me show you that, and then I'll take you on one more stage beyond that. So bear with me, and I'll reverse the camera. Okay, we're back again. Uh, like I said, uh, I textured all of the head over into here. Now what we're going to do is the mantle and these uh, coverts, which are in that first little pocket that we had in here originally. We had put a line here, which is one, and then two, and then three. And then this was bordered with the mantle coming down here. So these are coverts in here, and we have them over in here. And then you put these in. And I'm going to start you off by doing the mantle. So, uh, it's a similar technique. We push in from the front. We're doing this front edge like I was showing you before. In here, we have a leading edge. These are like what we did in the head. And I was showing you where you burn in on the leading edge of the feather in front of you. So this gets depressed in here and this gets raised this area in here. So that's basically the same technique. So we're pushing in. I'll do one of the bigger ones so you can see it readily. At least I hope you can. Uh, I'm doing this feather right here. So I'm going to burn in the middle and then I'm going to flare out all along that line that's in front of us. If I miss a spot, I just go over it. Then I flare to the right and then to the left. And do it that way. But let me do these over here. Uh, let me see. Okay. I hope you don't mind the way I've been breaking this up. I'm trying to uh, stay within a certain uh, time frame element for my videos. And, uh, and I guess uh, hopefully this is uh, timely enough that you have the chance to get your piece together too like this so what I'm doing I'm going on the leading edge and I take a stroke down the middle and then I fan to the left and then fan to the right and I'm not trying to drag it all the way down if you notice I've got a lighter spot on the ends even though it's textured it's very faint here's another big one right here on the edge I'm going to take that right down the middle here and then I'm fanning to the left. And I'm fanning to the right. And I'll do another one. Take a strike down the middle of the feather. And you go out to the left. And you go out to the right. I'll do the same thing here. And I'll do it here. Now, 
just to expedite time, I'm going to do about half of these, and then I'm going to move over to these here, so you can see how I develop everything here. And the it's it's just repetition uh, on a lot of the the head, the mantle, and the coverts are the same technique, and that's what we're doing. And that's what I want to show you. Uh, we're going to change techniques along the way here too, but most of this is going to be just this. It's uh, pushing in on the leading edge of the of feather in front of it, and then fanning out. And I missed a spot, so I just go back and touch it up. I'm going to come up here. And they are slightly tilting to the left and to the right. Just in the real tiny ones, you've really got to get just a point in. And you're not trying to, uh, uh, you know, uh, be, you want, to, you want to keep the line work pretty close to each other. But it does flare out to the left, like I'm showing here, and then to the right over here. I hope I'm doing this within the scope of the camera here because I tend to drift at times and I apologize for that. So here we go here. There's a nice big one here that you can see it. And then I go to the left. Now I don't always start out right from the center and go over. Depends. But the knack of it is, is to keep the lines as tight as you can. Here's another big one. So I'm taking a stroke down the middle. Then I go to the left. Then to the right. And I'm trying to drag the pen all the way out, but I'm not really trying to press that here. It is texturing it very slightly. And that's what we're trying to get. But you are pressing in a little bit. It's not like you're going to China with the press. You're not. And it, it takes a little bit of practice. And like I said before, I recommend if you're doing this for the first time, uh, definitely uh, get a piece of scrap wood. Make some C's that are piggybacking off of each other. And then... You could go in and uh, practice there before you start, just to get the flavor of it. So, I a lot of times uh, I I make it look easy because I've been doing it. And the other thing I really like too is the Optima pens. They are very ultra fine and they do a beautiful line work. So. Uh, I tend to prefer them, but that's just a matter of, you know, you can, you can do it with anything. So I'm not trying to just specify one type, but if you had my choices, I'd pick the Optima pens. They just hold up and do, they're really thin. They're really thin. And I was showing you uh, on the last video here, for some odd reason, I misplaced my spear shape pen. So I'm using this one, but I'm using the point and I'm trying to utilize that. So you can use m more than just, you know, another type of pen. It's not like you're locked in, but uh, certain ones just give you a real nice fine line work. Some some pens you really have to hone up uh, to get uh, real fine line work and uh, almost make it like it's a knife uh, blade type. And uh, you can do that. You know, it's just a matter of choice and how you, what you have too. Okay, so you don't have to get everything that I use or anything like that. You can utilize 
whatever you have. And hey, you can stick a poker in the fire if you got the right end of it in the tip and stuff like that. I'm not saying you'll be able to do real uh, good uh, techniques with it, but uh, that's the idea coming down. I'll do one more here, right in here, and then I'll I'll finish the rest after I show you, demonstrate all this. But uh, yeah, it takes a, a little bit of practice. Now, that's the start of the mantle. I'll, I'll finish the other side. Now we're gonna go into these coverts over here. So let me just put a, Couple more C's right in front of this one. I'm gonna piggyback one right in here and I'll put one right in here. And then the one C's I already have, I'll just use them as my leading edge. So I hope you can see this well. I'm not fading in and out. So I'm coming in. Again, I'm using the point. You can't lay this down flat because these are so in tight that the finer uh, the, the point you have, uh, the better it looks and the finer the lines you get. So I'm coming down the middle and flaring to the left all the way out to the edge of the feather and then flaring out to the right. And I'm not trying to cover. You can see I have dark areas just in the leading edge in the backside doesn't get burnt as bad because I'm lifting as I pull it out. It's like stab and run. And uh, you, you still want to get some texture so you're, you know, when your pen hits that wood, the very first stab is going to be the hottest, and that's why you're getting a darker burn up there. And then as it drags on, it loses heat. And we're looking for that. We're looking for this to be recessed in the front end. And that's what we're doing. Normally... No other way of doing it. If you really wanted to go crazy, you can get a bit and undercut each one of these feathers ever so slightly because they're almost flat as can be. You know, they're real fine feathering. But what we're doing is uh, we're trying to mimic that look on the bird. And we're I'm not undercutting. When we go down further on the bird, I'm going to, undercut some of the feathers so that they stand out but in the case of these there are millions of feathers well I won't say millions but there's a lot that make up these areas and we're just uh, sort of trying to act as if we are duplicating that but in a much smaller fashion. It's the same way with all the feathers that I have within the pattern. There's probably a multitude of uh, uh, feathers on the bird that you just don't see unless you had one bird wing and you spread it out and you'd see that there's so many feathers. But we're trying to mimic it without going crazy so this is i'm almost wrapping up these wing coverts here so um, then what i want to do is go into one other area before we get done on this video here and i'm trying to just show you the technique this is what's happening on the head, the mantle, and wing coverts here that I'm doing right now. So, uh, bear with me. 
almost done. I'm going to drag a little bit more here. I don't want to leave them too bare. Probably lifting and running too fast, but I'm getting there. And then we'll come this way. This way too. Then there's a little one right in here. Okay. What we're doing is just filling in where we got the detail. So that's it on that. Now, what I want to show you on these feathers here, some of them I'm really going to lift, but this first grouping, I want to show you the technique on that. And uh, let me, uh, what I'm going to do is I penciled these on, but where we have this line, this was the first line we put in. This is the second line. This is the third line. So behind this second line, I'm just going to undercut this. And I'm using, if you have the bullet, the diamond bullet will do fine. And this is the ruby flame. I'm going to turn my machine on here. And I'm coming in ever so softly. And just, I'm hardly taking anything out. I'm just trying to get a little bit of a lift. And, and I don't mean much. I don't know if you can see that or not on the camera. But then I have like a little bit of an edge here. So I'm going to blend that back. like that and just smooth it out real lightly it's, it's using a real light hand let the bit do the walking and that smooths it out pretty good now the thing that we did is we lost the feathers in the back so all you're going to do is extend them right back where they were they went like from here to here this one came back up this one came up to here this one came up like this. This one came up like that. This one came up like that. This one like that. So we've now captured these back where they were. And we have that pretty clean. Now, these feathers in here, I still want to keep soft, at least this one. These I will actually lift individually, but this is just, we just lifted it on the edge here. So I'm going to come in with a quill down the middle here, 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 and here. Now, I'm going to go back to my pen, and I'm going to put the quill in. Okay, now what I'm going to do is get the quills, which are going to be a single line because they're so small. I'm going to come in here. Hope you can see this well. I'm going to burn these in like so. And This last one here. Now, I'm going to reverse this around and I'm going to burn from what is the outside in. So, I'm going to get my darkest burn on the outside, which is leveling that lift we gave to the feathers, and it'll blend that in really nice and I'm doing a 45 degree into the quill and then I'm going to do the same thing right here and then I'll do the let me make that quill a little heavier and I'm going to come in And I'm going to do this. And you 
I'm trying to maintain a 45. Um, but forgot the edge of this. There we go. 45 again. And over here. And then this. I don't know why I didn't get it. On the quill, I was trying to get one even burn through there, if I possibly could. And uh, it's not like we're burning that for a look. We're not. We're just trying to get that in there. Seems like uh, I was really light-handed with the burn, but now... When I go back to do these, I'm doing it similar to this, but it's in reverse. I'm, I'm doing the outside coming in, where on the ones we did on the head, we were doing the inside coming out. And you're lifting. In this case, I'm working from the outside in instead of the inside out and that's the look you want to get so the quill down the middle and then 45 and you're doing this in reverse you're pulling it from the outside into the quill so I uh, hope you got something out of this video, and uh, if you uh, did, I wish you would give me a thumbs up, and if you could subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that greatly, and if you ever need any of uh, the items I'm using, please give me a holler, and we'll see if we can't hook you up with them. So thanks again, and I appreciate that. Bye. Oh, and one other thing, make sure that you do the other side the same way. I didn't do this side here, but I'd like you to finish up on that so that when we go to the next video, I'll show you how to lift all these other feathers down here. All right, so see you on the next video.